Hi everyone, so today my sister asked me to do some harvesting in her garden. So I'm going to harvest some carrots and also some achocha. So let's go pick those and see how we get on. Well, fotola, and you can see they, some of them have just completely over ripened and overgrown. So let me show you what the seeds look like. So we're just going to open these up just to keep the seeds. And so I've opened this one up and look at this. The seeds have actually sprouted inside the actual vegetable which is amazing so look at this one I just opened this one up and this this one has sprouted to the point look it's grown a plant inside itself amazing inside the vegetable here is the vegetable this is what it looked like inside it a plant has grown that's pretty incredible right and so this is the first time I've seen this with any plant so uh, this is what happens to your achochas if you leave them on the on the vine for too long. But this is what a typical achocha seed looks like. They're not round at all. And they've got like a, a boxy shape and a little bit sticking out. Just like that. So this is what the inside looks like of an achocha plant. And you can just take these off and you can keep those seeds. However, you've got to be careful because if they have sprouted in your, then they won't be giving you any plants next year. And these have sprouted some of these. Look at this. This one has sprouted. Here's another one. That one also has sprouted. So, these are the seeds of the treasure plants that we're going to be keeping. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be, my sister wants me to pick those carrots. So I'm going to pick those carrots and I'll show you what else we get. So I'm going to harvest all of these carrots from this bed. And then, let's see all these. Um, if you can see those, they look like aphids or some kind of little bugs on the bottom of the plant so picking all of those and then this bed can be used for winter growing in winter vegetables i think this top part of the carrot this coloring i think these are more than ready to be picked now one of the reasons why these carrots probably didn't grow much and you can see here that they started to curl they went grew and they both started to curl and I think that's because there's not enough compost in that in that particular bed. But in time, it's, it's very expensive to fill it up completely with compost. So we've got wood chips on the bottom and then um, then some of the garden com homemade compost and then the compost from the shop. So there's not a lot of compost there. So that's why we're getting the curling. It's a purple variety. Purple one. And in this bit of carrots, you have the smaller, rounder type. The others are actually small type and the reason why we picked the shorter ones is because these beds are quite shallow so these are the round type so I'm just gonna get my son and my niece to pick all those for me So here are all the carrots after they've been picked. Um, there wasn't many purple ones at all, really. So there's a couple there. And what we noticed is they curled up because of the amount of soil. So this one's curled up. 
Here's another one. Um, but the round ones were absolutely fine because they didn't really need the soil. And I think in that bed, there was a little bit more soil. So overall, not bad. I think this is the first time I've seen carrots growing in our gardens um, of this amount. So um, I'm just going to get these washed up now and I'm going to cut the leaves off. Uh, my sister said that with the leaves, if you make a shag out of it, apparently it's amazing. So this is what it all amounted to eventually. It's quite a lot of carrots really. It's not a small bowl. Um, so that's easily at least two kilos of carrots. And here are the bag of foliage and leaves my sister wants to cook. So that's not a bad amount either. So this was our first ever carrot harvest really. Um, and we are quite pleased with that. So thanks for watching. See you soon.